Okay, so we had we talked about that incident earlier of that lady walking her dog who got attacked from behind and was choked with a rope and dragged into the woods and luckily she got away. Perfect. So it can happen to anybody, it can happen to a guy. It doesn't really matter. So we'll just play with what can I do to get out of this kind of trouble? Well, they made a good point in the story was that be aware of your environment. And you know, we always say that. Uh, even Grandmaster says it uh, in uh, seminars. Be aware of your environment. That, that really takes a surprise away from um, uh, anything that might happen to you. Okay? It doesn't stop the person from wanting to do, doing what they want to do, but it, it takes away the surprise a little bit. You're not so shocked. Okay, so we have a couple of ways that a, a rope can come in from behind you. Uh, so you have, you know, he'll, he'll do an execution of uh, the rope. There's a couple of ways. You're not just going to sloop it around over your neck because well, that would be just too easy. They want to be clean and neat about it, especially if they're experienced and this is what they do and it appears that this man, this is what he did. So you would slip it as quick as you can over the neck. Like right hand. So it would be a, a really quick thing and you would be very hard to find out what you're doing. <laughs> All right? Oh. All right, so uh, to be able to realize what's happening to you. Uh, so we'll do the perfect scenario where everything is falling into place and everything's perfect. Okay? So he comes up over and he's coming on this side. I'm going to bring my hand up on this side. So now I'm in pretty good shape and I'm going, he's going to try to pull me backwards because that's the whole idea is to pull me backwards off balance. So if I drop my center of gravity, I'm in good shape. Okay? In this case here, I went to the opposite side of this hand and I'm going to have a hard time getting out. I mean, sure, I could, I could probably slip out, or I could turn around and slip out. Man, man, uh, I could do those things, sure. But if I want to really do it well, I'm going to be in here, here, so strikes, elbow, elbows, step around, and elbow. Hold on to the knife, uh, the, uh, the rope the whole time. So away you go. So it's a familiar technique. A step from behind, uh, full Nelson step from behind, so you can do that one. So what happens if you don't have that perfect hand placement? He comes around and he gets you by surprise, you go, shit, right? He's going to pull you back right away, drop your center of gravity, right? Drop your center of gravity. So what you're going to do is immediately reach up. So if you're going to go in this direction here, I want to pull here. Here, I don't want to reach back there. Useless. Reach in here. Turn. Create some space with the, the turn. You're in here. Now I'm safe. Yeah, a little bit of a pull here, but I got it away from this side of the neck. All right? Now I can step in behind him, and as I'm doing it, I can give him an elbow. Boom! Here. Forearm strike to the face, and away you go. Okay? It's not impossible to get away from a uh, uh, choke from behind with a rope. It's not. And just keep moving, drop your center of gravity, keep turning, and it makes it really difficult for that guy choking you to do what he wants to do. Really hard, okay, because you're moving all the time. All right, thank you.